Hey everyone! So we are in our new place in Rome and it's very very nice. They have a really adorable breakfast set up. I'll show it to you tomorrow um, with like breads and jams and an espresso machine and all this kind of stuff and really nice room. It has air conditioning and you can literally, here let me unplug you, you can literally see the top of the Vatican from where we are. It's right, oh. Right, uh, sorry, it's hard to look. It's up there. I, I can see it, but I'm gonna flip my camera. There you go, yeah, right there. Hi, okay, anyway, you get the point. Um, we're getting a later start today just because we needed so badly to wash our shoes. <laughs> They're so disgusting from working at the um, animal shelter. Like, I had to wrap mine in a plastic bag and I just took them out and I like almost died because it smells so bad. Uh, so I just got those washed. Nick's washing his now. And then we're going to head over to the city center today. So that's where like the Coliseum and all that kind of stuff is. And then we're going to do the Vatican on Sunday. Um, or at least the museum because they have free entry before 1230. And since it's so close, we'll be able to wear our proper attire because they require that you like, cover your shoulders and stuff. Um, and then we'll be able to come back and change. But last night we ate at this place called Goose right down the street. And I had pizza. And it was like tomato sauce with mozzarella and parmesan and eggplant. It was really, really, really delicious. And I'm excited to be in Rome. I've, I'm excited to be in Italy in general. I'm so glad to have clean shoes. But that means today we have to wear our sandals. So. Hopefully the walking doesn't totally kill our feet in our sandals because I know I get like a little bit of a blister on the bottom of my foot if I don't, if I walk too much in them. Oh, it's getting kind of hot. Probably because I was in the bathroom with the hot water for so long cleaning my shoes. Uh, I looked up how to bring a, a dog from other countries to the U.S. and the process isn't that bad. Um, I know there's another kid who wanted to adopt a dog and he lives in Japan and the process took like 180 days at least, but for us it's only like 30 days. Which is pretty cool um and that's if they don't have the rabies vaccination yet and they have to be older than three months but that's about it and obviously probably not going to do that but it was fun to look into and the these are the nicest people that we're um, staying with right now they're so sweet and their breakfast they like showed us everything they like gave us a map and showed us where things are and like they're really really sweet anyway gotta go start the day I'll show you guys where we go throughout the day. How about the shoes now? Um, it's tough. Why? Because your feet are so big. <laughs> yeah, and it's just a lot of stuff. Look at the self-portrait that Nick painted. I'm gonna have to censor that. It's a butt. It's a butt. Yeah. I get a bidet. I texted my mom because I've ooh, I've seen a bidet before that I couldn't remember what it was. So I texted my mom, I'm like, hey mom, what's that weird sink looking thing? Or what's that weird thing that they have in bathrooms that looks like a little water fountain, but it's not? And she's like, a bidet? And she like put the tra the um, pronunciation next to it. I'm like, yeah, that. And because Nick had never seen one before and he didn't know what it was for. So I told him what it was for and he's like, you. <laughs> But yeah, here's, it's not clean, but here's our room. There's Nick's stuff right there. There's my stuff right there. There's the air conditioning. Oh, Wi-Fi didn't work here either. I don't know what's with the places not having Wi-Fi companies that are reliable, but they have like a little hotspot for us to use. So that's really helpful. Um, so that means these videos will still be on hold until I have good enough Wi-Fi. This is the Plaza Nirvana. It was made for Pope Innocent X, uh, and it was furnished, or finished, not furnished, the fountain. Uh, in 1651. All right, friends, we're entering the Pantheon. Well, not the Parthenon. That's not here. And 
and it's beautiful. It's so high up that it just like, it looks fake because it's so tall. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead in here, see all the things. It's not busy or anything. <laughs> just finished up our first lunch here in Rome. We unfortunately did get sucked into one of those things, oh, right, where they like stand outside and they're like, come in, come in, but they're really forceful sometimes, okay? They like kind of push you, but it wasn't actually that bad because it was a $10 or 10 euro flat charge for each of us, and it came with an appetizer, a main course, and a drink, so I think that's pretty good, and it would have been cheap. It was cheaper than like having to go actually get each meal individually and then have the service charge on top of that. So it wasn't that bad. And they altered my meal for me because I told them I was vegetarian, even though I'm not really a vegetarian. Uh, and it was delicious. So it was. Sorry. It was well, well worth it. The guy was a little pushy, but whatever. Then we walked out, and the guy's like, "How was it? Was it good?" Thanks for stopping in. He like put his hand up, and then Nick just walked right past him. He left him hanging for a high five. Do you know this so the guy like awkwardly. 145 AD. Thanks. Then he awkwardly like put his hand on his shoulder. Was like Nick, come on. So he gave him a high five, and then it was all better. So yeah, now we're heading on to our next area for the day. That was built a long time ago. Ooh, a pigeon. Oh, it's gotten warmer because the clouds went away. It looks like we'll be we just place. went to the fountain, the fountain of Italy. Um, you know, the one from the Lizzie McGuire movie. But anyway, it's so crowded, oh my goodness. And it sounds like a water park because there's like with lifeguards because there's constantly people like whistling um, because you can't sit on the fountain, you can't touch the water in the fountain. And it's really annoying because like people be whistled at with their whistles and then they just like ignore it or they just continue doing what they're doing and it's kind of annoying it's like guys if you hear someone whistling with like a really loud whistle you look to see where it's coming from in their direction get you you stop doing what you're doing but you know Taurus what can I say a guy tossed a coin in and now we have three more things and the last one closes in four hours so I think we'll be able to do it all and I'm really enjoying Rome so far everything I wanted and more except there's a lot of people I mean I kind of expected that because it's a really high topless uh, tourist destination we matched today I know we're so cute it was not on purpose I look bald when I do this <laughs> behind me you'll see the Roman forum where people sit in the shade and look at their phones we are now in the Colosseum we're looking at the tunnels and just checking it out. Really cool. It's getting really hot because it's like five and that's like the hottest part of the day. But here, oops, sorry, is everything. <gasps> Pretty neat, huh? No. You're right. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, I'll tell you the story, but I'll show you first. That was her. I'll, show, I'll tell you later. Okay, that girl, the selfie queen. We watched her take pictures with her selfie stick, and then like she'd adjust, and then like change her hair a little bit, and then she asked like three or four different people to take pictures of her. We watched her for like 20 or 30 minutes, and that was before like we she had already been there for a while by the time we got there. And then we're like, okay, fine. Nick took a time lapse of her. Then she finally finished up and left. And we were walking back and she just changed locations. She she's having more people take pictures for her. But there was also another girl while we were over there who was having her dad take pictures of her. And she was a little bit older than the other girl, I think. And her, she's like, have She's like, Dad, take some horizontals for me. And then when he sh like handed her the phone to look at the pictures, she's like, Dad, I told you to take horizontals. He's like, I did. And she's like, no, I can't use any of these. And the, her dad's like, well, you're never gonna think it's perfect. And she's like, no, we gotta, gotta try again. So they like, moved into four. But that girl was saying, 
she, like, an actual photographer came up to her, she's like, hey, can you take some pictures of me? And she was like, I'm taking them for my Instagram. I have 526 followers. So I guess she's trying to get her, her Instagram game up, but oh my gosh. It was so, I can't believe how long we watched her. I guess we're, we're guilty too, because we just sat there and watched her the whole time. Anyway, what a day, what a day. Okay, you saw that striped dress? I'd also like to point out, this is actually, I gotta, I gotta give her props. She was wearing that, the same exact striped dress, but she like pulled it up and like put little rubber bands here to hold it up. So it made it into a crop top. Gotta give her props, cause actually that was really cute. And she made it, she made two outfits basically out of one dress. So praise to her, but still completely laughing, which is maybe mean, but oh well. I got Nutella gelato, but I'm pretty sure it's just straight up Nutella. Cause his is like, he got strawberry. His is actually cold. Mine's like, like room temperature. Same texture as Nutella, which hey, isn't bad. But you know, don't say it's gelato if it's just Nutella. Thank <laughs> you.